funeral home in Summit County. The lessons of the early 20th century have been instrumental in the 21st. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg explains why. As one of the oldest and largest funeral services providers in Summit County, the Billows Funeral Home was part of the early discussions about the COVID-19 pandemic. And many of the policies and procedures that we see today actually have their roots dating back a century. History has long forgotten Henry Kim and Gus Campbell, but they lie in eternal rest at Glendale Cemetery. The time in history in which they died isn't entirely different than today. We're always just here to serve other people on the worst day of their lives. Nathaniel Billow's ancestors provided those funeral services a century ago during the Spanish flu pandemic, and he became reacquainted with them while pulling some of the 145-year-old family businesses meticulously maintained records. Influenza, pneumonia, 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 influenza, pneumonia. Influenza. Billow says his family's company was on the ground floor of the planning stage during the early days of COVID-19. And much of what the world learned during the Spanish flu pandemic has been applied to this one. The way companies responded, things like closing down diners, limiting the, uh, the number of attendees at either a funeral or going to church or going to a restaurant, uh, the way that uh, internally, the way our funeral home responded, you can learn a lot from history. It gives you a greater appreciation um, for our past. Billow Funeral Home, like others, has been operating much differently, including an emphasis on private services and outdoor graveside services. Live streaming, Billow says, has also been crucial. In Fairlawn, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. The funeral home was part of the early discussions as local and state health officials planned for this pandemic.